How did he play these chests on the floor? Can somebody explain to me? Hey, yo, yo, guys, it is me, Happy Cyric, and welcome back to Last on Earth Survival. So season two patch notes have leaked. They were either data mine or whatever, but that does not matter. There's a lot of and a lot of cool stuff coming to Last on Earth. So I guess let's just take a look on those patch notes. So first of all, I just want to say that these patch notes were auto-translated and these are not official patch notes. I mean, they did not come from developers. As I said, they were data mined, but also last like three or four updates were leaked as well and all the patch notes were like 100% accurate so I don't see why these patch notes wouldn't be accurate but again don't take them as 100% accurate and that they came from developers because they are like auto translated from Russian I think that's already enough blah 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 let's just get straight to them so first of all here we have season 2 and secret military experiments do not lead to good but history does not teach anything the warriors decided to conduct a series of experiments on Charlie's body something went wrong and everything went out of control a meeting with Colonel Barker will clarify the situation so probably we're gonna get here a new character and as we've already seen from a small teaser ourselves and another dude with a kevlar armor dragged away that charlie so probably that's what this season two is going to be about because the first season was about that charlie is senior coming on a shipwreck and blah 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 and now here they took him away and they're conducting the experiment on him so probably the story is just gonna continue so that's kind of cool i really like how they're taking this approach then infected area event that means we're gonna get a new event the consequences of military experiments come to the surface destroy all cocoons and infected ones. So developers have already shown us a small gif with a cocoon. So probably in that infected area event, there is going to be a cocoon. So that's noise. Then we have event number two. The group of survivors is in mortal danger. It's in your power to shift the balance of power towards the good guys. So we're just going to get a new event. Survival camp can't really say much about it as I have no clue what's it about. But it's just really good to know that we're going to get two new events. So that's already better than nothing. New zombies. Mutations due to the experiment spread at the speed of a forest fire. New enemies were not long in coming, but good old lead and steel are still excellent cures for annoying zombies. So developers have already shown us pictures of the new zombies and I guess that's cool. We're gonna get new zombies in the season two. Would be awesome if they stayed in the game, but I wouldn't be surprised if they are just gonna remove them after the season two. So that's kind of sad, but still better than nothing. And also while we are here on this note, all the rewards from season two are leaked as well. I'm not gonna show here too much because there is a lot of stuff to translate and blah, 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 blah. But if you're interested in that, then smash that like button and I'll do my best to share all the rewards there because it's just literally as a long plain text but yeah smash like and we'll see and then we have new bosses the main danger comes from these guys to deal with them you have to sweat okay with proper dexterity and ingenuity everything will work out and this time you will realize that a monster is not necessarily a creepy mutant so i have no idea what they're trying to say here uh, when a monster is not necessarily a creepy mutant will we be fighting a real person here wouldn't be surprised or maybe monsters aren't gonna be creepy mutants or maybe they're trying to say I literally have no idea what they're trying to say here, but I'm just happy that we are going to get new bosses every time. Whenever they add new bosses to the game, you just remember that event. So I'm happy about that. And then we have a harpoon. Developers have already shown us small teaser of that harpoon, and there are never too many weapons. Agreed. So there is no doubt in its reliability. Primal power will now be in your hands. So it's very awesome that we're going to get a harpoon, but we also have a bow. It's also a primal power, but bows are really, really bad. So I hope that the harpoons are gonna be better. And again, details about the harpoon are leaked as well. They keep updating the leaks like basically every two or three days and I'm not sure what the harpoon is gonna be. And I don't really wanna spoiler too much, but harpoon is gonna do 60 damage. Don't tell to anybody. Shh. And let's just keep going. And here we go. The most awesome thing probably about season two is going to be Kevlar armor. A great trump card to even the odds when dealing with a new threat. Light, strong, and reliable armor will increase the chances of survival when meeting with any opponent, whether it be a zombie or a person. So it is confirmed, at least in these patch notes, that we are going to get Kevlar armor. And again, I do not want to spoiler too much, but you will be able to get Kevlar armor from season two at the very end. Why am I yelling? Please keep watching and don't unsubscribe. But all jokes aside, for real, Kevlar armor is coming to the game. This is super, super exciting. And we just have to wait and see when the season two is going to come out. Because usually whenever these patch notes leak, like next week or something, we should be able to get the update. So let's just stay patient and let's wait for the update. So far, it looks like season two is going to be way, way better than season one. But again, we just have to wait and see. I hope that bosses are going to drop some new loot and we're going to get some cool and awesome items. Not like on the season one because season one was kind of disappointing and yeah let's just wait and see 
as there's nothing much we can do. So now we are gonna go for the raid. I already have a base prepared outside, so let's just eat up here a little bit so I to restore my hunger and thirst. There's probably going to be a zombie outside that will attack me now for no reason, but we're just gonna do a quick boom, boom. We're gonna sit now on the chopper. And we're gonna get out of this base. Let's quickly wash the chopper. We might also even do the double raid today because the only task that's left for me is probably to deal with the witch. So after this raid, we might go deal quickly with the witch and then we will go for the raid number two. But now we're gonna be raiding this base. I've done a little bit of research on it and it is going to be a pretty, pretty cool base. So let's just jump straight inside. I said that I've done a little bit of research on it. It's gonna be a pretty cool base, but I don't know if it's going to be a pretty cool base. All I know is that I have to use to see force. And I forgot to take away my rubber parts from the chopper. Are you kidding me? This is going to be so sad. Okay, whatever. The truck is just gonna have one chest. So I'll have to use double C4. And I... No, not on this one! I'm an idiot! I failed! I failed! Oh no, there are two chests. I didn't even know that this place is gonna have two chests. I didn't plan to explode that stuff. Well, whatever. I mean, I'm happy, I'm happy. I thought that I failed, but I mean, that's probably better than nothing because I do know that I wanted to use my second C4 over here on the top. I would get two chests there, but we're gonna get two chests in that small room. Wouldn't be surprised if that's just a bait room or whatever, seriously. But hey, we are just going to see. And what is this place? Like, what? Uh, are there gonna be chests as well here? I didn't know this. How am I supposed to know all of this? We could probably go and do some more research and check out which chests have good loot. But again, today I feel like just exploring without actually going and doing any research on the basis. I mean, we already got a lot of cool stuff, so I don't care about checking out everything. We're just gonna go with a smell. I will probably maybe chop down one chest like over here and one chest over there in another corner. And if we're not gonna get anything inside, I'll just start using other C4 somewhere else and another wave of zombies. So let's just deal with them. Okay, so zombies are sleeping and now let's check what we go inside. And in Shoid, we got uh, some SWAT armor. I guess that's okay. Let's take new paints. And I am gonna chop down here one more chest on the down. And we are already 50 noise. Like, we already made 50 noise. That's crazy. I don't think I'm gonna opening up here any more chests. Let's just go now to another room. I didn't even know that this place is gonna have a room. But hey, let's chop down here one small chest. And if it's not gonna have anything, we're just gonna get out of here. Yeah, I believe that all of these chests are just gonna be like bait chests. And call me crazy. Oh, inside here, we're gonna have more chests. How did he play these chests on the floor? Can somebody explain to me? How does that even work? We're gonna chop down the bait chest. I am such a noob that I go for the bait. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So we still have a couple of C4s here from season one and you might be like, Sarek, are you crazy? Why are you wasting so many C4s? And if I'm not mistaken, inside of this room, we maybe are gonna get something nice. So I'm just gonna waste here third C4 for this raid. Kinda wasted this one C4 on this room, but whatever. Okay, another way of zombies, let's deal with those. And inside, indeed, we're gonna get here a couple of chests. If I'm not mistaken, again, I've done a little bit of five second research and I do know that this chest might have some awesome stuff as, okay, it didn't have anything. Are you kidding me? I thought that it's gonna have some cool, cool thingies. Okay, I'll try to damage these chests at least like a little bit. Okay, three hits to this chest, three hits on this chest, and now let's do three hits on this chest. And I believe then the big one is gonna spawn. But if I'm not mistaken, we will be able to kind of troll him. Mm -hmm. We'll be able to run like basically through this place and exit like that and then run around and somehow, some way, it's gonna work. Or maybe I'll be able to just to run through this thing. Is I have no idea what I'm doing. Do not question that. Whatever, I'm just gonna chop down this, this, and this. Okay, we're gonna open that very soon. First of all, I just wanna go over here with the big one come. No, the big one isn't coming through that place. We're gonna deal with this toxic bomb. Now I'm gonna go to this side. We're gonna go now with these with this toxic abomination and the big one just keeps. Okay, so the big one comes to this side. I'm just gonna go quickly to the top. Gonna loot this chest. Okay, inside we got some a little bit of duct tape. Gotta go from over here. Okay, the big one, the big one, the big one is coming to this place. And I'll try to open up another chest. And inside, we just got some wood. Probably gonna steal all that wood. Gonna go here now to another side. Gonna heal up. Gonna wait until the big one is gonna come to me. And now we're gonna go over here and loot the last chest. And inside, we're gonna get that. Okay, so I'm just gonna steal the wood now. Okay, so I got stuck from the big one. Oh my goodness. So I think I'm just gonna take now the wood from this place. And I guess that will be better than nothing. You might call me crazy, but I am gonna give Cyrex approval for this base because it was really, really fun. Even though I didn't get a lot of loot, but I got to waste three C4s and it wasn't fun at all. But it was fun. No, jokes all aside, it was seriously a fun base. I loved it. So we are now at the chopper event, so let's quickly go to the top and let's deal with them. And maybe, maybe this is going to be the zombie horde chopper event and I will be able to loot the bikes. Uh, okay, they started attacking me for no reason. 
because this is not going to be the zombie horde event and the dude with the baseball bat comes for no reason and he does not even attack me well what a noob no wonders they just lost here everything this guy did not drop anything a broken glock come to my pocket and a broken m16 now let's loot these choppers and then we're gonna go deal with the witch and then right number two just as i said so first chapel didn't really have something super amazing again loot is great except that i like i said don't have space in the base to bring all of that garbage there it's not garbage, it's really great loot, but I just don't have space for it. Okay, so please inside give me like a shotgun. I will. Ah, oh, <laughs> nice event, the best chopper event. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> But Cyric, why are you screaming? I have no idea, guys. We are. I'm just excited. Like, you know what? Getting season two and knowing that season two isn't really that far away is super awesome. And knowing that we are going to get their Kevlar armor, like, dude, it's just beautiful. For those who didn't know what is Kevlar armor, but this is going to be the Kevlar armor. You know what? Just for the memes, let's learn all of that because why not? Here we go. Wasting my points. But hey, I've learned uh, the Kevlar armor and it, and it looks dope. Like, don't get me wrong. It looks really amazing. Can't wait to see it in action. How cool. It is going to be no space for guns. Are you kidding me? Well, goodbye, skull crusher. Goodbye, sign. Goodbye, machete. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so now we're gonna go fight the witch and what I try to say there is that I wouldn't be really surprised that they are just using that Kevlar armor as they've teased the tactical backpack because for those who remember when tactical backpack came out to the game They started doing like those giveaways and you couldn't really obtain it in the game Then they added it like to sector 7 now They've added it like to season 1 and blah 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 and now more and more people can get their tactical backpack But tactical backpack is still more of a like exclusive and premium item and let's be honest It is like really really great addition to the game now We can store so many items and I believe same thing is gonna happen with like Kevlar armor maybe in season two we can just like get it from that season pass or something and then we will be able to get that Kevlar armor from other places next season or maybe even crafted because you know what like a developer said third season is supposed to be something really really huge so I wouldn't be surprised if they added titanium there if they added a lot of stuff and some of you might call me crazy that Cyrus we're gonna get titanium in last on earth ha 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 but no I seriously believe that third season is going to be really huge they've been teasing uh, that huge update for a really really long time and they're already a couple months late so I don't see a reason why wouldn't we get it I seriously believe in developers hopefully they aren't gonna destroy a my trust here and probably tens of thousands of other players who believe in developers because i believe if third season is not gonna have anything great they're gonna lose trust with a lot of and a lot of and a lot of and a lot of players but i don't see a reason why wouldn't they do this so let's just stay uh, positive and again we're looking for way too far ahead of us because look at this uh, season when season one ended it, it took probably an entire month just to get season two we still didn't even get it and a month has almost passed so i believe that we are gonna get that season three maybe like next year or something and they're gonna take their time with that season three but in any case we're gonna get it hopefully every single day is closer to that season three even though we still don't have season two well now we're gonna go and deal quickly quickly here with the witch i did not take any grenades because i usually deal with the witch here with the grenades with those waves and blah 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 but today I decided that let's go and let's deal with her with a spread shot because it's been seriously quite some time since I dealt any damage to her with a spread shot. Okay, so we are gonna take now here a spread shot over here. Doggo, get out of here. Okay, we dealt with a diseased wolf. That's really, really important. You gotta deal with him first uh, of all. Now, we're gonna run here to the very, very top. So many of these uh, zombies, crawlers that are coming out. So what I'll try to do is probably... A heal up run to the very very top i activated the sprint skill and i cannot even run away from them like what kind of a mystery is this imagine this how quick they are well dealt with all of those noobs now keep running around here the blob and again as we've seen from the sneak peek these blobs maybe are gonna change but again i feel like this is going to be a new event as they even said in those uh, patch notes that the blob is gonna be in the new event like new infected forest or whatever something else i don't think that there we're gonna be fighting with the witch or it's gonna have anything to do with the witch but again, we're just gonna see. Let's just wait and seriously see maybe next week. At the end of the next week, we should get the update. Because as I said, whenever those patch notes leak, update comes out pretty soon. And developers said that in September, we should get the update. And it's already like the end of the September. Today is September 22nd. <laughs> and I mean, like, dude, so update has to come out like this week in like seven days. Otherwise, September is gonna end. And uh, oh my goodness, my Glock is going to break and I didn't take anything else. Well, we'll have to go and run now the opposite direction. And now we're just going to spread shot most of them, hopefully. Well, we're just going to use a shotgun on these dudes just like this. We're going to take now another Glock. And I so far 
Everything is perfect. Love it or hate it. We are shredding the witch into tiny smithereens. Okay, witch dealt a lot of damage. So what I have to do is go back to this blob. Otherwise, she's going to do a lot of damage. For those who do not know, just run around the blob. Because I see some people who die from her, like, uh, double hand attack. She does, like, 80 damage or something. Make sure to have some armor. Don't go here naked. And keep running around the blob. I hope that this is a strategy. And I hope developers aren't going to fix it. Because in my opinion, it is really, really fun to deal with her like that. We got some bones. Very nice. And let's just snap transition ourselves to the raid. So as I promised, this is going to be raid number two, Furious. I've done five second research on this base. Okay, it was maybe like 20 second research and I still do not know what kind of loot we'll get here and I do not know where I have to go. But all I know is that this base is going to be relatively small and there are going to be a couple of chests inside of the base. So first of all, I believe that I'm going to chop down the door over here. I feel that maybe I'm making a mistake, but we are going to see. So, okay, so this base is going to have a couple of chests over here. Not sure if I have to chop somewhere else though, but hey, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. This is the only thing that I've seen from all the sneak peeks about this base. Now let's chop down the door up the top and I believe that this is going to be an entire base. Not sure if I'll get anything inside of over here though. And by the looks of it, yeah, we're not gonna get anything. So there are just a couple of chests. So let's try to open them up. And again, this is a small reminder if you're not subscribed, why not smash that subscribe button? And if you haven't liked the video, like the video. Thank you for all your motivation. Thank you for all your support, guys. I really appreciate it. And now let's start chopping down the chest. And inside of the first chest, we are going to get, as I would say, a lot of... Oh, we got guns. I wanted to say that we are going to get guns for the memes, but we indeed got guns. What am I even talking about? I cannot pronounce stuff properly. What a coincidence. And some people might just say that, well, Sark, you knew that you were going to get guns here because you've done research on the base. And no, I did not check what these chests are going to have. The only thing I've seen is that this base is going to have a couple of chests here. And that's it. So, hey, let's open up now another chest. And inside of this chest, we're going to get like a... I mean, let's take it. Not going to take pickaxes because I don't really use pickaxes. And oh my god, hopefully season three is going to have some awesome and really rare resources that I will be able to mine. Because... Uh, like, let's say, you know, going to, like, whatever zone and grinding copper isn't that satisfying because you need a lot of and a lot of copper and it's not really that useful. But I just want some special resource that would be, like, rare, really rare and really, really hard to obtain. Like, let's say you would need a lot of and a lot of, like, those pickaxes to get, like, one ore or something and you get that ore, you bring it back to the base. But it's, I want it to be super useful. I don't want to have hundreds and hundreds of them. I just want to grind for that ore so that it's, like, really useful. Let's say for crafting your Kevlar armor or, like, for crafting some sort of certain weapons that would have some certain abilities and that they would be kind of rare like really rare and hard to obtain but you wouldn't need like hundreds and hundreds of them because right now going to the winter zone and grinding for copper is cool but again like you need hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of that copper ore and it's still not gonna be enough it's never gonna be enough of that copper ore that's why it's not satisfying at least for me let's say if you need it like let's say only like stack of steel or like something and you would be able to use it for a long time then yes that northern location would be awesome but i would like a zone that it's like 10 times as northern location 10 times as hard as northern location but you would need like only a couple of pieces of that like let's say titanium so that's just what i want i'm not sure if i'm the only one but i do know that that would be super awesome and very grindy and very very satisfying so this is what i took from this base and so far you know what it is not the base the best base that i have ever raided so we're just gonna get a little bit of garbage here a little bit of garbage there and i think i'm gonna chop down now one more chest and then probably wave of zombies is just gonna spawn and i'm gonna get destroyed won't i well we got nothing over here i'm just gonna go to another side now i don't know that these chests might have a little bit of garbage there but we're not gonna bother about picking that up so let's try to destroy the last chest here i mean the last wall and if the wave of zombies is gonna spawn that'll be a little bit sad and inside we're gonna get literally nothing Literally entire base. So this base does not get Sarek's approval. So I listen just to checking out this video about the worst glitch ever. Or click on the second card and you will see 30 things that were supposed to be in Last on Earth Survival. Or hop over to my channel, go to playlist, and there you'll find a lot of other games that I've played here on the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, definitely make sure to drop that subscribe button and the notification bell to not miss any future videos. Also, guys, drop that like button while we're at it and peace, peace, peace out. Mm -hmm. Yep.